Greetings in the name of the Mosaya, is King Yediya, aka King Solomon, staying wise in life and in these markets. And right now I'm in a live trade on GBP USD. And it's more of a swing trade, but I'm, I'm adding some size to the position. Well, it's really small size, you know. I mean, it's, um, I'm not really, I'm, how could I say this? I'm practicing. I'm practicing in Forex. I'm not going all out yet. Um, I'm just funding the account and, and practicing my strategies and stuff like that. So I'm not going crazy in Forex yet, you know. Um, so let's let's see. We got the US dollar finding some support here and breaking above this um, small consolidation right here. And we have some resistance up above. We got the Camarilla R2 and we have this pivot level, floor pivot. And then we have this R3 Camarilla level. And then we have this BC, the bottom central pivot up here at, um, let's see, 127.35. So, um, I don't know. I don't know if we have enough strength in the dollar right now to, to run up, but um, we trade in it. So it's moving. So let's see what it does, you know. And over here, GBP USD chart on the 15 minute chart. Same kind of same kind of pattern in reverse. We have this consolidation, some tops here, and now we're breaking down a little bit. We're at um, somewhere above the lower VWAP line, which is this green line right here at 1.24602. And we have the top central pivot here as well. So that's a that's a support zone right here. Let's see. This is a support zone right here. It's a lot of pivots and um and VWAP lines and a bunch of bunch of support. So I usually label that it's a DPZ support zone, so it's a double pivot. It's a double pivot zone, and actually, it's um, it's probably more than double, because we got S1, we got this top central pivot, and we have this um, this lower VWAP line, which is the green line. Let's see, make that bigger. Boom. So yeah, and um, hopefully it breaks down. But I'm I'm looking to hold this trade. I'm looking. Oh, I, I actually set like a um, set like a sell stop right here. So if we break this level right here, um, these two levels, this lower VWAP line, the green line, and this top central pivot, then I'm gonna go. I'm gonna add to the short position. I don't expect S1 to be too much of a problem, you know. Let's see, let me throw on um, my volume point of control indicator and that gives, uh, it's a low volume node, this blue line here. So usually price will, will get through that pretty easily, you know, just like it did before, it just shot through. You see right here, it just shot through. Very little resistance. And then this is a, um, it's a high volume node right here. And you see price kind of bounce around here a little bit. It's kind of ripping through it as well, but it you see how it, it has some resistance here as well. So it's a high volume node. So price is kind of whipsawing around that. And VWAP. VWAP is the white line right here. So we, reject, we rejected R1, which if it's going to be bullish, you definitely got to push, push through R1 on the Camarillas and it failed there numerous times. So we're looking to take that short for real. But I'm trying to hold this position for, let's see, let me go up to a bigger time frame. i got to come out here. Let's see on the four hour chart.
So yeah, this is one of my targets right here. And I think I'll make that um, the target for all the positions. I think it's weekly low right here and it's the floor pivot S4 level. Let me throw on the floor pivots. Right, so we have the S4 level. This is the S3 level right here. This is the S2 level. And when we get up to these um, these higher time frames, the Camarillas adjust. So this is really bullish. It's a bullish Camarilla um, setup right now because we're, we're, we're above R3, right? But we're really failing at R6. So we had numerous touches here. This is a high volume node as well. So going across here, we just we just rejecting that price. And I guess the dollar is it, the dollar is in reverse. So the dollar is holding support at some level here on the four hour. So let's go down to the four hour on the US dollar. Right, so that's that support zone here for the US dollar. We have higher lows forming and I got some fib fib lines here. This is probably hopefully for me it gets to like um excuse those alerts. I know they're kinda loud. And trying to get up to this fifty percent fib at least. And I was thinking from um since yesterday we would have gotten a big push, but um it's not really happening that quick. They're taking it kind of slow. So yeah, on the four hour chart, let's go back down to like the 30 minute. So we're starting to get that push down now on the 30 minute. And this is just an update on my GBP USD thesis, so I'm not gonna um, I'm not gonna have this video running for long. I'm probably gonna hold this position over the weekend because I'm trying to catch I'm trying to catch all of this move. So hopefully nothing crazy happens and the dollar just falls out the sky, you know. But in this risk off environment, I think the dollar is definitely gonna um, keep keep pushing up foreign countries in a fundamental for fundamental analysis and on a fundamental um perspective the dollar is supposed to be strong higher interest rates um it's a bunch of risk of sentiment in the market um stocks is selling off because of the high the rising dollar plus we got that stuff over there in ukraine going on and you know it's just it's just like a risk of sentiment across the world right now so all these countries is going to definitely start buying up the US dollar to you know preserve their currency and um just keep the risks low you know because if they if they keep a bunch of their money in their currency who knows what could happen with their currency you know it could just fall out the sky and then and then what you know the economy is just going to crash so that's why I guess they, they buy foreign money like um, the US dollar and I guess they buy like the Swiss and the Japanese yen and stuff like that so yeah so I'm kind of following that fundamentally as well and on this time frame on the 30 minute you see that volume right there I need some more volume I need some more volume we are we only 10 minutes into this candle though but you know it's looking good we're probably gonna start we're gonna trigger my my cell stop right here as well and as you can see it's small size so i'm trying to catch i'm trying to swing this you know i'm trying to swing this to um 1.21597 at least and even if even if it gets to around that that um that level i'm still gonna trail my stop and just see how much it could go i'm not gonna actually close out at that level if it gets to that level i'm not closing out there i'm just gonna 
trail my stop and see how it runs and just got triggered in on this on this um this cell as well so the trade is looking like it's 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 panning out nice i'm gonna hold this over the weekend and hopefully it works out you know all right y'all it's your boy king yeddy aka king solomon staying wise in life and in these markets and you all trade safe and stay blessed <laughs>